So today we are going to uh, discuss stochastic uh, calculus. So um, this class, uh, for this class, I uh, suppose that um, the notion of uh, stochastic processes is known. And so um, today we are going to discuss the um, stochastic calculus and I would start with one example which I think we can call it the fundamental example so this is the fundamental example so let me remind you that if we have x1 and x2 which are two function of t and if they are deterministic function then, and if they are sufficiently uh, differentiable, then it is known that d of the products x1, x2 equals x1 dx2 plus x2 dx1. So this is the classical um, differentiation formula. Now we are going to see that for, so this is in the case when the two processes or two um, time series are deterministic. So now we are going to see that for stochastic cases, this formula is not any more valid. So for this, I would like to introduce an example where we defined two processes, dx1 and dx2. dx1 equals b1 delta t plus a1 d omega where omega is the Brownian motion and dx2 equals uh, b2 dt plus a2 d omega where omega is the same Brownian motion and a1 a2 b1 b2 are constant so what we would like to do here is to uh, calculate so by two different methods what is d of x1 x2 um, to see what how this formula star is changed so for this we can um, first of all integrate x1 and x2 so we would like to calculate this so but for this i'm going first to give you the integrate uh, um, expression for x1 this is b1 t plus a1 omega plus a constant that uh, we can call um, alpha and x2 of t is um, b2 t plus a2 omega so this is a1 plus beta so that uh, the product x1, x2, so x1 multiplied by x2, can be written as, so we have just to multiply everything. So this is alpha beta for the uh, constant term, plus beta a1 plus alpha a2 for the term in omega, plus a1 a2 omega squared plus b1 a2 plus b2 a1 this is for the term in t omega plus the term b1 b2 t plus there is one more term which is the uh, linear term for the time which is alpha b 2 plus beta b1 t so how we are going now to calculate the expression for this term d of x1 x2 so obviously when so we do d of x1 x2 obviously the first term here is going to go out this is a constant term so let's write what we get 
this is equal to b a1 plus alpha a2 d omega plus a1 a2 so i will write formally d of omega squared and this is something that we don't know what it is plus b1 a2 plus b2 a1 that we're going to write d of t omega now we have a deterministic term this is b1 b2 uh, dt Uh, b1 b2 actually this should be t squared here so this is dt multiplied by 2t plus uh, the term alpha b2 plus beta b1 dt right so if we want to understand uh, the difference between the classical expression for this and um, I mean the classical expression for a deterministic uh, system and for a stochastic one what we need now is to find an expression for this term d of omega square and this is not the goal of um, what we're going to discuss so we would like to estimate d of omega squared so for this we are going to obviously compare this to what it is equal to for a deterministic case which is 2 omega d omega so if we want to compare derivative a uh, way to do it is to compare the integral of these of the uh, quantities so then we are going to estimate the integral from 0 to t t is any uh, deterministic number, positive real number of omega of s d omega of s so we would like to calculate this quantity and so to do this we are going to use the Riemann sums the approximation as we have seen previously when we um, discussed the case of the non-anticipating function so let's define um, i n which is the sum of omega t k and then we are going to consider the difference omega t k plus one mi minus omega t k And so what are the TKs? So we use a partition of the interval 0 T. So this is the partition of um, I going from, uh, let's say, 0 to N, or N minus 1, such that this is equal, capital T is um, TN. And the first term equals to T0. So if we have um, a uniform uh, a partition, then we have Tk plus 1 minus Tk, which is delta T. And this delta T is T divided by the uh, number n or n plus 1. Yeah, we have n interval. So um, what... Um, we can do now is to estimate this sum so now let's uh, uh, discuss this for a second this is the difference of uh, the our brownian uh, process omega t between two time interval now we choose here omega of tk but in principle uh, we have a choice uh, that is if we have this partition and if we have our random process, we could use omega, uh, we approximate this, this integral as the Riemann integral by the value which can be the value at tk. Or we could have used here omega of tk at the time k plus 1. Or we can use the average omega tk plus omega tk plus 1 divided by 2. 
And we know that in the case of the Riemann integral, so there are three cases, one, two, and three. So in the case of the classical uh, deterministic integral, it's unimportant. While here, it is important. The first case is called the Ito case. And this is the most fundamental in physics because it accounts for the non-anticipating uh, uh, case, function. Then we have here the second case is called the Stratanovich form. Stratanovich form. And usually this is, uh, um, the, the case is obtained in filtering theory where um, you, ha you have this need if you want to track a signal uh, starting when you, have an, uh, when you know the entire time series, where, where, when you know the future. And then there is another case, and you can also take any uh, interpolation between uh, the first, uh, the Ito and the Stratanovich case. So, as we are going to see, those are not uh, um, the, the choice of uh, this number, the omega, at tk or tk plus 1, leads to different types of uh, um, stochastic calculus. OK, so now let's uh, uh, discuss how we are going to, um, what is the limit of this uh, quantity. So for this, let's uh, uh, rewrite in. So now let's go to the estimation, the computation of the limit we would like not to study, the limit, whatever it means at this stage, the limit of i n as n goes to infinity, so when the uh, steps size are converging to zero. So for this we're going to rewrite the integral, the, the sum, um, by using this uh, rewriting this is equal to omega k plus 1 squared minus omega k squared plus omega k omega k plus 1. So this term is just write it in here. And then since I have uh, introduced here the term omega k plus 1, we have to remove half of it, so omega k squared, so that it equals to um, minus 1. And then we have introduced here the omega k plus 1 here, that we have to remove here, omega k plus 1. So that this can be rewritten as 1 half, so we have uh, a sum of terms that are going to be telescopic, so they are going to um, cancel each other, so we will get omega n squared minus omega 0 squared minus the sum from 1 to n of omega k plus 1 minus omega k squared. So this term here is simply omega squared t Omega 0, we can assume that this is omega at point 0, that this is equal to 0. In any case, it is unimportant because when we are going to differentiate, this will cancel out. So what we need now to understand is what is the limit here of this term as n goes to infinity. So um, let's uh, rewrite it. Now we are going to consider the sum of d omega k squared for k equals 1 to n and let's call it um, we can call it uh, sn so we would like to understand what is the limit of this sum so of course the first things to try is to look at the expectation and the expectation of sn by definition this is equal to the sum of 1 to n of the expectation of d omega k squared. And since we have a Brownian motion of uh, variance um, exactly 1, 
these are exactly equal to the time interval tk plus 1 minus tk from the sum from 1 to n and this is uh, simply the side of the time interval which is capital T so suppose we have proved that in probability Sn converges to T then we can write um, in probability that the integral from 0 to t of omega s d omega s is the limit of the quantity t i n that we have previously uh, seen as n goes to infinity which is equal to one half of omega t squared minus t divided by 2 because this is the limit of uh, Sn and th there was a factor one half. So suppose we have shown this, then if we take formally the derivative of this quantity, so the if we differentiate, we get omega of S d omega S, which is one half of d omega T, which is exactly what we were looking for, minus, and this is not a deterministic uh, term, this is the ds uh, divided by 2. So ultimately what we have shown is d omega square equals 2 omega d omega plus um, dt, or let's say, uh, yeah, dt. This is d omega t here. So this is the fundamental example that um, from which we understand the difference between the classical calculus of deterministic function and the uh, stochastic one. So what we need now to prove is that um, what we are left with is to show that this quantity uh, Sn converges in probability to t as n goes to infinity. So for this we're going to use the classical um, Chebyshev inequality. So the um, Chebyshev inequality which I'm not going to uh, uh, prove is that the probability of uh, uh, a stochastic variable minus the expectation larger than any uh, epsilon uh, fixed this is less or equal to the variance divided by epsilon squared and this is of course less than infinity so we are going to apply this for x equal out the sum sn from 1 to n of the d omega k squared and we are going to show that this is uh, the sigma n uh, that we have for this uh, converges to uh, zero and this is so the expectation of Sn as we've seen equals to uh, t now what is the um, variance equal to, this is the expectation by definition of the sum Sn minus the uh, expectation of Sn squared, which can always be rewritten Sn squared minus the expectation of Sn, everything squared. And now we can rewrite this as the expectation of the sum of d omega i this is squared yeah and this is squared and we have to take the expectation of this minus the expectation of the sum of the d omega i squared and now the square is for the expectation is inside the, the square so what this is equal to this is the expectation of 
the sum of i and j of d omega i square d omega j squared minus the sum of i and j of the expectation of d omega d omega i squared expectation of d omega j squared and this we can distinguish what happened for i equals j where the difference is actually in this first term where we are going to get so this is lower or equal to the expectation of the sum for i equal j we got d omega i to the power 4 right and uh, this is actually what uh, we are left with because uh, for d omega i d omega j the rest are going to cancel out because then the expectation of the term uh, the expectation for the term for um, when i is different from j is the product of the expectation we are going which are going to cancel exactly with the term here so what we need now is to look at this uh, uh, quantity for n going to infinity and to estimate it so that we can see if this is going to so sigma n that we obtain here to see if sigma n is indeed converging to zero as n goes to infinity and this will show that uh, um, what we wanted that is the quantity sn is converging to its mean in probability so what we need for this is uh, to uh, actually um, calculate using the probability density function of a Brownian uh, particle. So let's calculate now the uh, quantity of interest. So the sum from 1 to n of the expectation of uh, d omega k to the power 4 so since they are all independent increment this is n times the expectation of let's call it d omega whatever 1 to the power 4 when delta t here is the time interval which is for example t divided by uh, n so this is exactly equal to n and now we use the probability density function so this is x to the power 4 for the probability of having a transition let's say from 0 to x during the time step delta t and this is average over r we're here in dimension 1 so this is equal to 2n integration from 0 to infinity of x4 of the 4 pi delta t expe exponential of minus x square divided by 4 d uh, actually we don't have d equals to 1 so this is 4 t dx now if we um, use the change of uh, uh, variable so now let's uh, discuss wait this is delta t here so let's introduce delta t equals t divided by n so we have uh, 2n integration from 0 to infinity x4 so this is 4 pi so delta t is t and now we have to uh, so square root and now we have to divide by n so it's to multiply here by square root of n and then we have exponential of minus x squared of 4 t n dx right so we're going to use the change of variable which is u equals x square root of n 
So this will give us 2n, integration from 0 to infinity. So x to the power 4, this is u to the power 4 divided by n, 1 half to the power 4. Here we have square root of n, exponential of minus, so this is u squared divided by 4t, and this is divided by 4 pi t. And dx is exactly equal to du divided by square root n. So finally, what are the dependency in n? We have n to the power 1 plus 1 half. Here we have n to the power 2. And we have n here, of also square root of n. So we are multiplied by an integral, which is a constant. So thus we are left with um square root of n goes with this power uh, here and one we remove the two so we are left with n so this is a constant divided by n which exactly converges to zero as n goes to infinity so this shows that um we have now uh, what we wanted and now we can go back to um, the initial calculation that uh, we have uh, we wanted to look at, which is the um, the product of uh, the quantity uh, x1 dx1 dx2. So we started with. Um, the calculation of x1, x2. So there is something I'm not going to do is to show, and this I leave this as an exercise to show that d of t omega is equal to t omega plus omega t. So this can be shown using the same um, approach that we have used before by um, looking at the integral, making discretization. So now if we have these two um, x and 2 uh, stochastic processes, what uh, I will leave now uh, for the reader is to do this calculation. This is x1 dx2 plus x2 dx1. And now we have to add this term, which is the term in uh, omega squared. So the difference that will be um, that we're going to obtain is omega 1. It's w1, w2. And since the uh, main difference is due to uh, the term in uh, delta t, we are going to get just get this to the dt. Right, so this is going to be the basis for um, the Ito calculus that we are going to discuss uh, in, a, in a separate class. So I'm going to stop here. Uh, s the, the only thing I would like to mention is that uh, I'm not going to show here the example of um, the other type of uh, stochastic calculus, such as the Stratanovich calculus. Um, I would like to stop with maybe giving um, an exercise which is how to calculate the, um, the omega to a, a, a given power. Like, um, th so we have the Brownian motion to power n. What, so this is, I will leave this as this is a classical uh, exercise. What is d omega n? So, or d omega n plus 1, where n is an integer. So this is equal to n plus 1, omega n, d omega plus n, n plus 1, n, n plus 1, divided by 2, omega n minus 1, dt. So I will leave this as an exercise to be done, and this is uh, the hint. 
you, this can be done by uh, induction induction on n using uh, the formula we have just um, we have just uh, uh, discussed so I'll stop here in the next class we will use this as a, uh, an introduction for the Ito formula <laughs>